Dear Reeves, I hope you are all fine. This ultrasound video shows a case of encephalopathy with the adopt fetus and pregnancy of about 18 weeks. You can see the fetus having multiple encephalopathies along the fetal head. Adopt fetus is a severe swelling edema in an unborn baby or a newborn baby. It is a life-threatening problem. Eye drops develops when too much fluid leaves the baby's blood stream and goes into the tissues. The outlook for eye drops fetus depends on underlying condition, but even with treatment, the survival rate for the baby is low. Only about 20% of babies diagnosed with eye drops fetus before birth will survive to delivery and of those babies only half will survive after delivery you can see the fetal ascites is also visible you can see a significant amount of blood in the fetal abdominal cavity adopt fetalis is a serious condition in which the fetus has an abnormal accumulation of fluid in two or more fetal compartments including ascites, pleural effusion, pericardial effusion and skin edema. You can see in this case the ascites is also seen along with fluid collections along the fetal head and there is fetal skin edema. In some patients, it may also be associated with polyhydromnias and placental edema. You can see the fetal soft tissue edema. The risk is highest for those fetuses who have diagnosed with hydropt fetalis early less than 24 weeks into the pregnancy and for those who have structural abnormalities such as heart defect. Pericardial effusion can be found isolated or is in associated with different in abnormalities described in the literature. The incident is about 0.64 to 2 percent. It is necessary to perform a comprehensive fetal study ultrasound to rule out the different causes to which it is associated. Again, you can see the fetal soft tissue edema along with multiple encephalocytes seen along the fetal head. Fetal ascites is also seen. Pericardial effusion is not seen in this case. Encephalocele is a rare disorder in which the bones of the skull do not close completely. This creates a gap through which the cerebro, cerebral spinal fluid, brain tissue and the meninges, the membranes that cover the brain can protrude into a sac-like formation. An encephalocele forms when the neural tube doesn't close properly during gestation. A neural tube is a narrow channel that folds and closes to form the brain and spinal cord. The exact cause, however, is unknown. It usually occurs among families with the history of spina bifida and encephalos and an encephaly. Ultrasound images for the fetus can reveal the presence of herniated fluid filled sac outside the skull. Encephalocytes that go undetected during gestation usually are diagnosed as birth by observation of the deformity. Sometimes encephalocytes are detected during a routine perinatal ultrasound. As early as 13 weeks of gestation, if an encephalocyte is suspected, on ultrasound, a fetal MRI can provide all the details necessary to confirm the diagnosis. You can find some important information in the description of this video. 
Thanks for watching. Please subscribe my channel. If you do like this video, please click the like button. Thanks.